Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to be talking about signal analyzers, uh, namely oscilloscopes and uh, frequency analyzers, and uh, why I kind of why you occasionally see me looking at them. And uh, yeah, I use them to kind of see what's going on in uh, synthesizers and other kind of processing units. Um, and I'm I'm kind of a, a hobbyist noob electronics guy i have another table over here that i have you know some uh breadboards and stuff like that uh but yeah uh, let's go through it so i have spire open here and uh it's a pretty cool synthesizer i like how there's an init button right there and uh that's a little quiet i'll just make that a little bit louder and uh yeah that's that's pretty cool so you know what exactly is going on there? Who knows? Let's find out. So I have a signal analyzer, and the website's right here, rs-met.com, and that is my where you get this uh, analyzer. And this is an oscilloscope. Let me just let me just freeze that. So it's taking the signal and uh, analyzing has changed over time uh, between you know zero points and all that fun stuff and uh, this is a saw wave and this is a kind of yeah what you'd picture a saw wave there are some subtle kind of partials here which are very interesting to look at um, and yeah you can just see oops what's going on there weird you can just see uh, what's happening over time and how it's changing Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to unfreeze that. I'm going to right click and then duplicate, bring that down here, and look at the spectrum. So, this is a little bit different. This is um, the frequency band between, well, really low 15 hertz to, I guess, way into the audible range. Well, it's, it's what you're mainly looking for is 20 hertz to, uh, 20,000 hertz and that's the the change of uh you know that's the, the spectrum of sound uh, we all work with so what i'm gonna do oops that's not it which one do i do to get a where is um let's see oh yeah okay there we go. I had to figure that out. So I'm just going to move this up here. What I was doing uh, was trying to find the sine wave. How to get the sine wave. So I'm going to stack these up. These are our instruments. We are being scientific. And that is a sine wave. So this is uh, the purest of tones. And it's a simple it's a simple sine wave and uh yeah you can make one of these with a few resistors and stuff and you'll notice on the signal there's one harmonic or one there's the fundamental this is the fundamental and it's super simple and uh you use sine waves to see what's going on so uh, another example let's go Right, so we, we're changing it to a saw. And we see all of these other upper harmonics. So a saw is a very kind of rich sound. Uh, square is also kind of rich. But sine, this guy right here, is uh, very pure. And uh, with that, uh, we can look and see what's going on. So let's, let's look at... Uh, okay, let's go... This is a square, I would assume. Yeah, so you have your square, and then you have your pulse width. And you can adjust your pulse width. And the positive or the, the negative. And that's pretty cool that we're visually seeing what's kind of happening when we uh, change things around. Right, so that is a square. So what happens if we introduce a filter? Well, obviously a filter will shave off the upper harmonics. Notice up here in this region, it shaves it off. And we can get all the way down. So 
it kind of looks like a sine wave again. But with more harmonics. Well, with more harmonics than a pure sine wave. So with a filter, we're essentially shaping the sound. So this is a low pass filter. Right? So what happens if we boost the resonance? Well, there's a, there's a peak at the cutoff point. Right around there. And we can see it. So let me figure out. No, I'm not going to be able to. Okay, this is this is not good. Uh, oh, noise. All right. So we have noise here. Okay, it's a drop-down menu. I'm still learning the synth. Give me a break. So we have noise, and we can see the uh, filter cutoff uh, doing well. What's this stuff right here? Oh, this is just the noise stuff. Okay. Okay, so this is a noise signal. It's all frequencies at once. So noise is all frequencies at once. That's why you can't tune noise. But you can kind of tune the peak of the resonance when you cut it off. So I'm going to have a very harsh kind of uh, cut, or a, a harsh resonance, and I'm just going to bring it down. All right, so what's going on there? Well, this filter is modeled after, um, wait, different filters do different things. I don't know what this is modeled after. But you can see it has two resonance points, which is pretty weird. So it's a it, it's a very highly resonant filter. So let's take a look at the uh, Infecto. I think this is the the virus filter, and we'll take a look at that. Virus filter is highly resonance resonant, um, and we have this. So let's check this out. Right. So we have that, and you know this may seem kind of kind of pointless and uh, different uh, different um, poles so this would be a, a two a one pole let's be two and then eight and then 12 no 12 and 14 no 12 and 24 I'm dumb and it's just a higher cutoff point so like you learn stuff by looking at these kind of signal analyzer things. So uh, in the next video, we're going to be doing some other things. Um, and, you know, maybe you, you might uh, just download these and uh, run simple shapes, uh, simple oscillators through them and see what's going on and kind of compare your synths. Like synths, different synths, uh, they generate uh, saw waves different. Their, um, their uh, square waves are different shaped. Some are more uh, triangly. And it's really interesting, and it's uh, cool to get into. So, uh, yeah, when I get back, we're going to be looking at other...